Well, today we are about to go through my storage locker one more time. But this time, I'm going through it to organize some stuff to see what I can get rid of for DJ gear. And yeah, hopefully make a little bit of money off this and uh, maybe make my life a little easier, you know? The more and more I'm in this lifestyle, the more I see better and better ways to just minimalize things and make things a little bit more simple for me. There's no reason to be storing gear in here that I probably won't use for the next year. What's the freaking point? So let's do it. So I've pretty much gutted the locker and it is spread all over the place. A lot of these cases are just like wires, cables, some lighting equipment. This is a stack of stuff I already have set aside that I can sell, miscellaneous tables, couple lights, some T-bar light stands, fog machine, and uh, yeah. But anyway, I found some personal keepsake stuff and I'm gonna go and look and see what I really need to keep. So let's snoop into this good stuff. Looks like some like nightclub posters and stuff. Oh yeah. And I DJ'd the little Kim concert. And I DJ'd for Sean Desmond. Just some random club poster. New Year's poster. All these things I really don't want to keep. Another club poster. And another club poster. This one's a really old one. Yeah, all this stuff I don't care about keeping. So it's gonna go in the garbage. All right, what else is in here? <laughs> Father's Day stuff. <laughs> Definitely keep that. That's what, this is what my daughter Danica thinks I look like. Really? Really, Danica? Really? This? <laughs> oh, awesome. Picture she drew. These are like super old. And this here, I'm definitely going to keep, but the old lowrider car that I used to have that I've talked about a few times in this video, when I was at a car show once, because I always parked my car all out and it was jacked up, it had hydraulics and stuff. Some cartoon guy came by and did a drawing of my car while it was sitting at the car show. Let me show you this. This thing is pretty sweet. That's my old car. Woo such a good picture. Yeah, man, he does such a rad job. Um, this I would definitely be keeping though. Who's, who's this one for? Oh, it's for disco. I'll definitely keep this. This goes purebred certification. Ooh. Yeah, I'll keep this, and I'll keep the picture of the low rider car, the rest of it, and my daughter's stuff, but the rest of it, out of here. And this little box here is like something I'd like been dragging around for years, and I think it's time to part with it. I don't know what's in it though, that's the funny part. <laughs> Check these out. You guys remember cassette singles? Like when you wanted to play the tape, you pulled it out of the cardboard? Check it out. New Kids on the Block. This thing's like damaged to all crap. And another New Kids on the Block. Woo! These are classic. And another one. And another one. Look at this. Like a whole set of them. Ah, cassette singles, classic. And this one here was from a grad dance I DJed in 1997 that we, re that we recorded on cassette tape. Be cool to hear this again. Well, these are like classic photographs. Hold on, let me shift my phone here a bit. Let's sit down, I think, for this. 
because these are old school pitchers, I'm not going to keep these. I'm not into this kind of stuff, but there's Maggie, our old little bulldog, sleeping away. Oh, that's Maggie again. I will keep this one, though. It's the first pitcher I ever got him. This is when I first met Danica. Like, I just met her within, like, a year of this picture, so I'll be keeping that one. <laughs> His disco when he was a bit younger. There's Maggie with my glasses on. Oh, Maggie when she was just a little puppy. Maggie looking at me when I was in the bathtub. <laughs> so cute. Oh, these are, we're digging in the past now. There's my lowrider car when it was blue. I liked it blue. Then I painted it, turned it into that. Whoo! Look at me, big pimpin'. Old school DJ picture of me. I look like a douchebag. What else we got here? Pictures of me at a booth at a fitness thing. Um, yeah, that's me. I used to be a personal trainer. Not anymore. That car would look good, man. Here's my car right after it was painted. Checking the brakes, making sure the brakes and stuff all worked. There's me at a parade in my car with two chicks in a bikini. <laughs> that was before the parade. Here is... Me and my lowrider car at a car show. Yeah. Look at the interior of that thing. Look at that. It was like white and orange and pillowed interior. What else we got going on here? I won't be keeping any of these. There's enough pictures of this stuff online. I prefer digital than this old school stuff. Ooh. This is nuts. This is the entire build of my car. Not, like the entire build. As it went along, painted, roof, seats. What uh, going on here? Like, look at some of those interior shots. Ooh. That thing was crazy. And uh, I remember when I sent it in, like if you look at it, there was like all the chrome and stuff underneath it, man. We painted everything from the belly, all the chrome undercarriage. But I left my camera with the, um, with the guys who did my upholstery and when they gave me it back, they took a picture of their toilet. But anyway, this is really cool and all, but yeah, I won't be keeping it. What else we got here? Ooh, these I'll keep, you guys. The girls on here are gonna like these. I don't know, a lot of guys aren't into sentimental value stuff. <laughs> oh my goodness. Whoa. This is kinda fun. This is me when I was a personal trainer standing on one of those fitness balls. <laughs> I used to be able to jump up on that thing like it was no tomorrow, it was so easy. All right. Wow. I never even knew I had these. There's me as a little, little guy. Look at me in my little Esso little uniform outfit. <laughs> Whew. September 10th, 1976. That's a classic. I'll keep that one. Uh-oh. Me and my mom's little nightgown thing. Yeah. Wow. You know you're old when you got baby pictures and something like that. Look how old that thing is. Uh -huh. Me sitting in the back of a Tonka truck. That's an awesome picture. All right, that was fun. This is a super cool envelope and you guys are gonna like this story. When I was really young, I, uh, I was always a big entrepreneur, like always like really big on business and stuff like that. So, 
when I was like 16 years old, I wanted to start selling sports cards at the flea market. So I had an uncle that said, you know what? He was willing to put money into it if I was interested. So I started off with one little table, which was barely any cards on it. And by the time I was like six months into selling sports cards, I was like two tables long with a full blown booth, big banner up top. And I used to have other guys at the flea market that used to come over to me and say, how are you selling things so cheap? I was just like that eager kid. Like when we went to all the little sports card expos, I was the kid that was wheeling and dealing, getting my prices way down on the stuff we bought. But um, yeah, right there. That was my original first. See, that's the name I changed from. But carry sports cards. It was my very first business card I ever had. Awesome. And then when I was 16 as well, I started my first mobile DJ service. And that was the name of my DJ service. Rhythmic Sensations Mobile Music. And believe it or not, when I was 17 years old, I took out my very first, yeah, that's the one. This is just a mock-up of it, but this is the very first you, um, Yellow Pages ad I ever took out in the phone book. Then after that, I turned it into West Coast DJs, which I ran for quite a while and then, yeah, lost interest. Yeah, these are just like random business cards and nightclub cards and yeah. That's funny. That was my old DJ name a long time ago, DJ Blaze. <laughs> funny, very, very funny. All right, well that was a blast from the past. All right, so we weeded even this memory box down to the bare minimums, which is awesome. I don't like keeping keepsake stuff, I'm not that guy. I'm, you know, for me nowadays, if you really look at it, I'm leaving behind a ton of YouTube videos. So I think that's way better than any old school picture. Here's something for you. Are you ready? These are before and after photos of me before I started being a personal trainer. So that was me. Yeah, look at them boobs. And then I was dating a girl who was like Miss Fitness and I went from this to this in uh, three months, 12 weeks. Those are my before and afters. As soon as these, this was done, I took all my personal training courses and yeah, I went from that guy to that guy, three months. I'm, uh, I'm more like that guy now. <laughs> I'm not gonna keep these because I actually have a, a copy of them on my computer, so. Yeah, that was cool. This turned out to be like a memory walkthrough instead of like DJ walkthrough. So let's get back to the DJ stuff. All right, so here's what I got to sell. I have four of these Martin scanners. Um, I might only want to part with two, but we'll see. Two little gobo lights, fog machine, um, light stands with T-bars in the top for lighting. Yeah, hoping that I can get this locker now into something smaller. Like this little guy. Going through that stuff felt really good actually. Felt kind of nice to kind of, you know, go through the DJ side of things because I never did before. I mean, it was DJ stuff. I just dragged it along with me. And, you know, I think minimal, minimalizing my DJ setups is a good idea. I mean, I pondered it for a while and I thought about the pros, the cons, thought about selling all of it actually. <laughs> Because selling it all would pay for a nice chunk of my debt, but not enough for it to be worth it. I have enough gigs coming up that it's feasible to keep a small setup. And to push, just say, a bigger package, 
doesn't make me a whole lot more money and it's also a lot more time consuming, longer days, and a bigger pain in the butt. Doing just the small package that everybody seems to book all the time seems to be the right thing to do. So that's what I'm doing. You know, still making changes. And I love it. What do you say, buddy? What do you say to making changes? Good thing? I'm starving. Let's go get some food. Oh, 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 oh,